If you've never watched this YouTube channel before, let me really quickly get you up to speed. I sell stuff on eBay and my number one best-selling item is DVDs. Okay, great. So now that you're up to speed, what happened last Wednesday was a one in a million moment. I was sitting at home, minding my own business, listing up some items to sell before I noticed a message pop up from my mate, Figsy. Big clearances on DVD box sets at Big W, man. At first, I didn't think too much of it and got back to my listing, but 10 minutes later, Melissa messaged me. Hey, Matt, just a heads up, Big W are clearing out a lot of DVDs. These. And then five minutes later, I got a message from Isaac. I got all of these for $4 each, save $1,200, except for Hulk, which was $10, down from $110. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. This was really happening. It looked like every big W outlet was basically giving away their DVDs for free. Oh, I had to act fast, and I quickly jumped online to see where my local big W stores were located. The mission was simple. Infiltrate the dealers, find a supply. Yes, sort of. Uh, raid all five BW stores and buy every single underpriced DVD hey. possible. Uh. Put the place up. Pretty exciting to see all of these DVDs with clearance tags, guys. I picked up Californication, a $23 profit on that one there, so not too bad of a start. I had a look at all of the DVD box sets, and there was one that really did catch my eye. It was this one right here, The Incredible Hulk, the complete series, $10, savings of 100 bucks. That's gonna net me a $40 profit. We're up to $65 already, guys. Farming Simulator 22, I picked this one up as well, 49, bought it for 19, so that's not too bad. $1 clearance sale here, I've got The Incredible Hulk, Go for about 25 bucks a piece. I'm happy to pick them up for a dollar. And then I've had a look at the four dollar clearance bin right here. Sons of Anarchy, the final season. A lot of Pokemon DVDs. Now, guys, all of these go between 20 to 25 dollars, considering they are in brand new condition. I'm buying them for just the four dollars. This is a huge come up. Very happy to see the profit come from these. So, found Slug Terror as well. There were five of them. I bought them all for four bucks each. It's not too bad. The pile was building up, but then the staff member said that he was putting out some further reduced price clearance tags. And this is where things got really, really interesting. It's crazy markdowns. Why, why would that one be like so heavily reduced compared to some others? That's what I'm wondering, because I thought it would all be equal, but like, oh, this no. one's four as well. $4. Four dollars for the whole box set. For the whole box set? Yeah. Couldn't so, believe that when it scans. So that's $96 off. Yeah. How can you say no? So out of all these DVDs, this is actually the first one that's gone on to sell. Modern Family Complete Series. I sold it in the space of two hours on eBay for $80. And that works out to a profit of $55, considering I was able to get my hands on it for four bucks. And you got a few others, like what's this? Look at that. Space, so that's lost in space. Lost in space. Original. So that's, you're telling me that's a hundred bucks down to four dollars. Bro, that That's is that is incredible. It's a mash box set. Which is that? The whole thing. The mash? Yeah. You're telling me mash is four dollars. That's pretty good. That's <laughs> oh good. my god. It's like random ones that I wouldn't expect. This is insane. Black I'm so glad you told me to hang around. Just in case, because yeah, I knew something was gonna be nice. Eight dollars? Oh that's only a saving of eight though. Oh yeah, it's not big. And then that was down four, right? Yep, take that. Roswell's four. Yeah. We're gonna take mash. Yeah. Gotta take mash when it's uh that is crazy, my man. Unreal. Guys, I could not believe it. $4 DVD box sets. I grabbed absolutely everything that I could. All the $4 tags, they were going into my basket. And there was even a couple of winners here that I picked up at the end. It was John Wayne, the collection, going for about 30 bucks. This one here, the secret daughter, that was going for about 20 bucks as well. So, so many winners. I was full of confidence that I even went and picked up MacGyver for $72.50. It should turn into about 140 bucks. Good way to finish. Sweet, mate. Appreciate it. Been an absolute legend. Thanks, man. <laughs> That's unbelievable, guys. Well, I was already pretty ecstatic when I was seeing the prices earlier on, but then when I saw him drop $4 tags on things like 
Modern Family and MASH. This is the only big W that I've gone to. I think there's another couple of big Ws here on the coast. So I'm gonna rip around to another one, which is only 15 minutes away. I wanna see if we can get the same sort of result in there. New store, new opportunities. I've been able to find Sean the Sheep, the complete series, 20 bucks should convert into about 60. So that was a good start. But then I spied the price check scanner and well, that got me thinking, maybe I should spend some time sitting here scanning up every single DVD to see if I can find the $4 ones. Not on this occasion with Death in Paradise, but I went to work. It was definitely a worthwhile exercise because I've got Blue Murder here as a perfect example. There are a lot of TV show seasons which always go well on eBay going for four bucks. So the unexplained with Will Shatner, this one is just a dollar and I should be able to go for about 12 bucks free postage. Not too bad, I'll take it for a dollar. So the TV show seasons are really coming through for me. A lot of these going into 20 to $25 worth of value. I built up a bit of a pile. It was just showing the sheep in the box sets that I was able to get, but have a look at all of these TV seasons. All right guys, so you would have seen that. I spent 107 bucks and I saved $500. So basically I walked in and I bought $600 worth of DVDs for just 100 bucks. Well, a really good start in the DVD box sets, guys. It looks like there's a lot of copies of Lost in Space out here. I've got $4 price point. We know this converts into $60. So what a ripping start that one is there. I've also got Salem as well for $4. This one is brand new and sealed going for about 50 bucks on eBay. So to pick it up for $4, I've got a second copy now. That is awesome. Uh, Offspring, guys, I've actually paid up for this. I've spent $50, but I saw some comps on eBay going for $130. There were two copies in store. So I've gone ahead and picked them both up. And if that converted into 260 bucks total revenue, That'll be a pretty good pickup. I'm happy with that. Now, I found this as well. Unreal. Saw it the, uh, in the other store, and I've actually gone ahead and picked it up this time around. Uh, converts into about 25 bucks. Cinematic Universe, that goes pretty good too. Three copies of that. All of these DVDs that you're seeing here, they're all the ones that you've seen before. I'm just picking up the same copies because I know they sell well. So quite a large collection here, but this one, Offspring, actually sells for 50 on eBay. I've found some serious nostalgia in the kids section, guys. Who remember these TV shows? We've got the Angry Beavers, we've got Real Monsters, all of these complete series box sets. They go for about 40 bucks a piece. 35 retail, 40 on eBay, free postage. So this is awesome. Picking them up for 10, selling them for 40. I've actually grabbed every single one. As you can see, I'm pulling them all off the shelf here. Uh, so a good three copies of Angry Beavers and uh, Real Monsters. I think there were two copies uh, in total there. So really awesome stuff there. Jumped into the gaming section as well, which I have done a little bit of. There just wasn't a heap of value. This Mafia game though, sells for about $35 to $40. So that was a good pickup for nine. And I actually went ahead and I grabbed Dying Light 2 for $39 because it sells for about 70. So I didn't think that was too bad. All right, so we spent $241. I've got a total savings of $522 for our fourth run and we've got one more store to go. It's about a 40 minute drive and I feel like we're going to finish on a bang with this last store. I know what I'm looking for now. Um, a lot of DVDs that are just popping up as the same so they've just got large quantities uh, but they sell. There's definitely some good sell through rate on eBay for them so um, as long as I can keep finding them, I'm going to keep buying them. Well guys, it definitely has been one of the most crazy sourcing days I've ever had in my two years worth of experience on eBay. It's a big thank you to the guys on Instagram that were shooting me messages at the beginning of the day that has allowed all of these deals to take place. If we have a look at the cold hard numbers that we're able to achieve from today's sourcing, I've got a resale value out of everything that you've seen here today for $4,230, which is just crazy to think that that's coming all out of a retail store. I've spent $1,023, the fees are $634.50, working off 15% 
eBay fees, the postage. I've looked at every single item individually, and that's gonna be $720 to take out. So guys, the overall profit expected after fees, postage, and cost of goods is $1,851. No matter how good your sourcing is, no matter how much of a dream scenario this is, if you can't sell it on eBay and you don't know how to do it, you're not gonna be able to make a dollar. So this video right here breaks down exactly how to go about selling items on eBay to get that return that we've picked up today. Thanks for being here, guys. We'll see you soon.